welcome back to the stories for kids if you are listening this from my podcast please like it and share it with your friends and family and if you are listening or watching from my youtube channel don't forget to subscribe so let's start today i will read the stories from akbar and birbal so these are very very interesting stories so kids start let's start read the first story which is sharing of reward emperor akbar was very fond of learned and gifted men often when a gifted man would come to the emperor he would appoint the man as one of his ministers akbar's court was full of intelligent and wise men out of them nine men were known as nine gems of akbar's court they were exceptionally talented and accomplished men in their field once a young man called mahesh dash lived in a small village in akbar's kingdom since he had spent his entire young life in the village he now wished to travel the world he had heard many stories about the big city and the emperor's palace it sounded like an exciting place to be in and he decided to pay the emperor a visit and see if he could get a job he traveled through many crowded bazaars and towns finally he reached the city mahesh das went up to the palace gate but he could not enter the gate keeper caught him he asked where do you think you are going mahesh das replied I am going to see the emperor the guard burst out laughing he has personally invited you to have dinner with him in his dining chamber i suppose the guard said mahesh das remained quiet the guard continued it is not possible for you to see the king he is a very busy man i have orders from the king not to let anybody in mahesh das pleaded with the guard to let him in the guard said i told you i can't let you in mahesh das said but why the guard said because you are poor everyone whom i allow to see the emperor pays me something like a cow a goat or a embroidered slippers what can you give me mahesh das said i don't have anything now but i can promise you that i will give you half of what i get from emperor as a reward the guard knew the emperor was a very generous one he often gave expensive gift to people who came to see him so the guard quickly agreed mahesh das entered the palace he was amazed by the richly embroidered golden curtains and carpets the palace was made of red sandstone and was lavishly decorated emperor akbar sat at the middle of the court mahesh das bowed to akbar akbar said i am very pleased with the respect you have shown me what do you want from me in return mahesh das said jahapana if i may i shall ask you grant that i may receive 100 lashes on my bare back the emperor was surprised he said that is a very strange request why do you want me to give you 100 lashes mahesh das said your majesty when i was coming to see you the gate keeper told me to give him half of what i get from you akbar laughed ha 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 then he said this is a serious issue this means the gate keeper accept bribes for doing his job he should be punished the gate keeper was brought in and given 100 lashes as a punishment for accepting bribes then akbar said to mahesh das you are a very clever man why don't you stay at my court as my minister mahesh das was very happy to accept the offer from that day he came to be known as birbal as stories of his wit become famous far and wide so now kids from this story you came to know that who is birbal how he came to uh, emperor akbar and now the next story onwards i will read you will know how birbal actually helps akbar to solve many problem the next story is the fake lion the emperor of persia and the emperor akbar were very good friends 
they would often send jokes and riddles to each other it helped them to maintain a good friendship as they enjoyed receiving parcels from each other one day akbar received a large cage from the emperor of persia with a fake lion inside and a letter the letter said if there be a wise man in your court he should take out the lion without opening the cage if the cage could not empty it the mughal territories would come under the sovereignty of the emperor of persia akbar cast an anxious glance over all his courtiers one by one then said i know all of you are learned intelligent and expert in your fields can anyone take out the lion without opening the cage can anyone do it he again looked at his courtiers expectantly everyone sat frozen in their seats all of them looked amazed and embarrassed as if it was beyond their understanding they were looking at each other they disappointed the emperor that day birbal was absent in the court he was engaged in some official work elsewhere akbar wished birbal had been there in the court at that moment he ordered his messengers to look for birbal the next day akbar was sitting on his throne rather relaxed all the seats were occupied by the courtiers one was unoccupied as birbal hadn't yet arrived then birbal entered the court he bowed and said jahapana i am here present in your service what are the orders for me akbar briefly told him that the whole matter and handed him the persian emperor's letter birbal read the letter and cast an eyeful glance at the cage birbal called a servant and ordered a heated iron rod to be brought the servant instantly obeyed birbal touched the lion with a heated iron rod the lion melted slightly at the place he continued touching until the whole lion melted the persian courier was greatly impressed by birbal's brilliance akbar asked how did you know that the lion was made of wax huzur replied birbal according to the letter the cage was to be emptied without opening it it is it said nothing about the lion being kept intact i was just tried an idea that it might be made of wax the persian courier returned to his country to tell one more story of birbal's brilliance the next story is turns in a street once the emperor of persia sent akbar a strange letter in the letter he asked akbar to tell him how many turns each street in his kingdom had akbar was shocked by the question his kingdom was a large one how would it be possible for him to send his ministers to count the number of turns in all the streets nevertheless the emperor called his prime minister todarmal and asked him to take the project todarmal in return sent his men to count the number of turns all the street in the kingdom had next day birbal noticed that akbar was waiting anxiously for something birbal asked jahapana is there something wrong you look so much worried akbar said yes birbal i am waiting for todarmal to report the number of turns all the street in my kingdom had he then told birbal about the letter that the emperor of persia had sent him when birbal heard of it he laughed out loudly ha 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 akbar was puzzled when he saw birbal laughing birbal said your majesty i know the exact number of turns of each street not only in our kingdom but in any city of the world akbar's eyes grew wide he said i hope you are not joking i have sent so many men to count the number of turns and here you say that you know it already birbal said i am not joking my lord all the streets of the world have only two turns a left turn and a right turn at this the emperor burst out laughing it was an easy answer and he had not thought of it he rewarded birbal handsomely and called the royal poet to send the reply to the emperor of persia so now i will read the next story which will be the last story the real mother 
as the shadow of god on earth so it was the emperor's duty to establish peace and order in his kingdom by protecting the weak and punishing the wicked akbar took pride in his fairness after all he was jahapana the refuse of the world one day in his royal court came two women with a little boy both of them were crying bitterly the first woman said jahapana this little boy is my son i had left him with my friend because i was very sick and i could not take care of him but now when i am well again she is refusing to give my son back to me at this the second woman well before the sultan she is a liar my lord this is my son i am his mother this woman wants to take my son away this is why she is telling you such stories akbar could not decide how to bring justice to the woman he called his most wise minister birbal to the court birbal listened to both the women one by one and nodded his head then he bowed to akbar and said jahapana both of these women claim to be the mother of the child so it is best that we give the child to both of them the court including sultan looked at birbal in surprise birbal continued let us cut the child into two equal halves and give each part to each woman that's why both shall have the child birbal asked the guard to take the child to the royal butcher and have him cut into two halves the guard took the child by his arm when the first woman wailed and fell at sultan's feet he begged mercy my lord do not harm my child let the second woman give him i withdraw my complaint i love my child i cannot bear to see any harm done to him birbal smiled and said to akbar your majesty this is the real mother of the child a mother will bear anything but she cannot bear to see her child come to any harm everyone present at the court applauded birbal's wit akbar gave birbal a handsome reward for solving the problem so with this i am ending today's session wait for the next session bye bye kids